Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on perimeter and area of parallelograms. Given the parallelogram below, we have the parallelogram here. If you watch our previous video on properties of plane shapes or quadrilateral, we stated that opposite sides are equal and parallel. These are parallel and they are equal. These and these are also parallel and equal. So we identify this side as the base. We call it base A. And if you're taking this side as base A, any line that is perpendicular to this line is the height of the parallelogram. So we have this as the height of the parallelogram. Also, if you take this side as another base, we call it base B. Any line drawn that is perpendicular to this line is also the height of the parallelogram. Taking this as a base, this is the height. If you take this as a base, this is the height. So we are going to generate the formula for calculating both the perimeter and area of the parallelogram. So starting from the perimeter, we said perimeter is the distance round the outer part of a shape. So if you start from this, this base A and the opposite sides being equal, we have it as A plus A. We have added this and this and the other two equal sides named base B, we have it as B plus B. A plus A gives 2A, B plus B gives 2B. So we can as well also add the two sides and multiply the sum by 2. So we come up with 2 into A plus B. We add the two sides, that is the two bases, and then multiply the sum by 2 to give us the perimeter. This is basically the one we are going to be making use of. And for the area, we are going to be having the base multiplied by the height. So whichever we are going to be making use of, either this as a base and multiply by the height, or this as a base and multiply by the height. These are the two formulae, both for the perimeter and area, we are going to be making use of in this tutorial. So we start with the first problem. Problem one, calculate the perimeter of each of the parallelograms below. So we have the first, second, and the third parallelograms, starting with a part of the problem. Um, for your information, you can choose any one to be A and B. If you like, choose this one as A and this one as B, or this as A and this as B. So we identify our A to be 7 centimeters and our B to be 5 centimeters. We still remember the formula for calculating the perimeter. That's P equal to 2 into A plus B. So we have 2 open bracket 7 plus 5. So we deal with what is inside the bracket first. That's going to give us 2 times 12 since 7 plus 5 gives 12. 2 times 12 gives 24 centimeters. As the perimeter of the parallelogram, we cite 7 centimeters and 5 centimeters. So we then go to B part of the problem. For B, we are giving A to be 12 centimeters and the other side to be 8 centimeters. So still substituting into the formula for perimeter, we are going to have 2 into 12 plus 8. And 12 plus 8 is 20. We are going to have it as 2 times 20. Simplifying the bracket first. 2 times 20 gives 40 centimeters as the perimeter of the parallelogram in B. So we go to C. For C, we still have our A to be 23 centimeters. If you look at this now, I have chosen the longer side to be A and the shorter side to be B. You can do the other way around. You still have the same 
solution since you're not dealing with the area so and db here is taken as 18 centimeters so our perimeter 2 into a plus b becomes 2 into 23 plus 18 that's going to give us 2 times 41 since 23 plus 18 gives 41 so we have 2 times 41 2 times 41 gives 82 centimeters as the perimeter of the parallelogram in C. So that's all for problem 1. We then go to problem 2. For problem 2, calculate the area of each of the parallelograms below. We also have three parallelograms here. So starting with A, we are given the base and the height. So our base is 8 centimeters. And the height is 6 centimeters. So our formula for area is base times height. So that we now have 8 times 6. 8 times 6 gives 48 square centimeters, which represents the area of the parallelogram in 2A. Then for 2B, we are also giving the base to be 10 centimeters. The height is 14 centimeters so substituting into the formula a equal to b times h we then have it as 10 times 14 10 times 14 gives 140 square centimeters representing the area of the parallelogram in b then we go to c for c we also have the base to be 12 centimeters and the height to be 20 centimeters so our area is base times height we then multiply 12 times 20 12 times 20 can easily be solved by multiplying 12 by 2 to give us 24 and then add the 0 to give us 240 square centimeters and that's all for problem 2 we then go to problem Three. For problem 3, one of the sides of a parallelogram is 15 centimeters and the perimeter is 46 centimeters. Calculate the other side of the parallelogram. In our solution here, we are given one of the sides. Let's take it as A to be 15 centimeters. We are also given the perimeter P to be 46 centimeters. It means we are looking for B. So B is unknown. And to do that, we are going to have the B to be perimeter divided by 2. Then you take away the other side. The same way, if you are looking for A, A will be perimeter divided by 2. Then you take away B. So we go ahead to substitute into this formula. Our perimeter is 46. So we have B to be 46 divided by 2, then minus 15. 46 divided by 2 gives 23. So we have 23. How do we get the 23? 2 goes into 4 to give 2. 2 goes into 6 to give 3. Then we now subtract 15. 23 minus 15 gives 8 which represent the other side of the parallelogram. That's all for problem three. We then go to problem four. For problem four, calculate the height of the parallelogram given the area and the base as 360 square centimeters and 18 centimeters respectively. So in this problem, we are giving the area to be 360 square centimeters and the base to be 18. We have to calculate the height. So we have the area to be 360 square centimeters and the base B is equal to 18 centimeters. We are looking for the height. So the height is not known. And uh, the formula for calculating the height is the area divided by the base. In the same way, if you are looking for the base given the area and the height, 
what you do is divide the area by the height to give you the base so we go ahead to substitute the area and the base to get the height so we have 360 divided by 18 360 divided by 18 is going to give us 20 so that the height will be 20 centimeters um 18 times 2 gives 36 so adding the zero we give us 360 divided by 18 as 20 and that's all for the solution of problem 4 this is the highest we can take in this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it please like and share this video remember also to subscribe to our youtube channel check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get the link to other videos on areas and perimeter until we come your way again Goodbye.